The success of every personal injury case will depend on the three pillars. The three pillars are essentially the elements, the most basic elements you need in every personal injury case. That would be number one, liability, number two, damages, and number three, recoverable assets or insurance policies. The first pillar, liability, will you will need evidence. You, the, to support liability, you need uh, video footage from the scene, witness statements, uh, police reports, because liability means the person who caused your harm, they had a duty of care to you. They breached that duty, and the, the breach of that duty directly caused your injuries. Uh, we think of that as uh, being essentially legally responsible for the damage that was caused. And that pillar, the liability pillar, is the first one insurance pol uh, carriers want to pierce. They want to uh, tear down that pillar as fast as they can. And unfortunately for the injured party, most of what bolsters that pillar will disappear rather quickly after an accident. You may not have what's called the black box or the event recorder um, when the car disappears, if the car is totaled. Uh, if a, an, an adjuster comes out and wants to look at the damage of the vehicle, they're not looking at frame damage or really um, evidence that would support why your injuries are so severe, even in perhaps a not very high speed accident. So it's really important at the outset of a case that evidence is preserved and you request that it be preserved, uh, but also that you save as much as you can in, in a motorcycle accident, all the clothing you're wearing, the actual motorcycle you may want to keep, your helmet, um, just a lot of evidence is critical to that liability pillar until liability is established and accepted. So. As much evidence as you can, again, video is ideal. So the second pillar, damages. Damages requires evidence in a, in a different way. It's documentation, and that is typically by physicians. You will need expert care, uh, people who are documenting your injuries, and even if you had pre-existing injuries, how do we delineate how that injury, uh, how you experience that injury, before and after the accident. So uh, you want to obviously get checked out, and, but most importantly, you wanna do the follow-up care. If a doctor recommends at the ER or urgent care that you need physical therapy and you wait a month, the insurance carrier is going to, adjuster is going to claim that you're not really injured and your conduct looks that way. So the goal in damages from the insurance perspective is to minimize. So where in liability, they're trying to refute liability or at best reach some comparative fault analysis. When you come to the damage pillar, the number one goal for an insurance adjuster is to minimize your injuries. The way they do, do that is essentially your own conduct. Did you follow up? Did you go to all of the treatment providers you were recommended to go to? Did you follow the care that they suggested? And are you doing that without any big gap in treatment? So that is documentation. That's the supporting factor of the second pillar, damages. And damages will include non-economic damages, economic damages, but again, most of that will all need to be supported by medical records. And later your attorney will hire experts, actuaries, rehabilitation specialists uh, to, to really dig into the documentation. But the key in that pillar really is you. Are you consistent? Consistency is key in the damage pillar. Are you doing what you're supposed to do at the time and um, you know, with the recommendations provided to you. So then we come to pillar three, which is often the most frustrating because you may have done everything right with liability and with damages. But pillar three is, do you have recoverable assets? Uh, are there insurance policies at play or does the individual who caused your harm have assets to pay you? Can you be made whole? Uh, oftentimes in car accidents, it's very common that people carry a minimal policy, 25,000. 
And that isn't going to cover someone with a traumatic brain injury. So while the case, you meet the three pillars, that third pillar is really insufficient to make you whole. It's better than nothing. But again, when we're talking about success of a personal injury claim, we look at those three pillars and are they going to make you whole? Are you going to be able to meet the standard of liability? Are you going to be able to prove your damages? And number three, will you be able to recover? So when you are calling personal injury attorneys and you're trying to discuss your case or find out what the value of your case is, uh, and if they are not discussing those three pillars in some fashion, that's a concern because you can have a very valuable case as, as we, you're looking at value. Uh, you may have a traumatic brain injury, long-term care. You really need a lot of assets to set you up for success, to help you manage your quality of life in the future. But if there are no policies, if there is no, or worse, there was no duty of care uh, to prevent that injury, like you simply had an accident, you slipped and it was no breach of duty from someone else, uh, there, there isn't really a personal injury case. So make sure you're diving into all three pillars as you choose your team. Um, are they really looking at your case holistically and what really must exist to have a successful case? So thank you for watching. I hope that answers some of your questions and please hit like and subscribe. Thank you.